Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving problems dealing with the notion of division of decimals. Division of decimals. We're going to begin solving the sample problems that you see on page number 13. Please turn to page number 13. Sample problems. Yesterday we did the three examples that they give you and now we're going to do the 10 sample problems and as you can see, 10 sample problems in my opinion is not enough practice. And if you feel the same way, if you feel that you need more help, if you feel that you need to you need more practice. Here are some videos that you can watch. Just type in T's math, day number 8 and 9. The math on the T's is very similar to what you will find on the HESI. There's not much difference. If you want more help, if you want additional problems, here's a series of basic math. Basic math involves a lot of videos there dealing with many concepts that you will encounter on HESI. Here are five videos that, that pertain to this notion of division of decimals. Just type in basic math, day 54, 55 and 56 and you will find whole bunch of other examples that you can work on. Let's, let's get going. Number one, 48 divided by 0.4. 48 divided by 0.4, let's see what we can do here. The idea is to do these division problems without the division. Convert them into multiplication problems, that's the idea. 48 is simply 48. 48 can be written as 48 over 1. Nothing or shattering there. 0 0.4, 0 0.4 can be written as 4 over 10 because that's what 0.4 is, 4 over 10 is 0.4 and then we have a division sign in between and then we know that we have, when we have one fraction which, which is being divided by other fractions which is being divided by other fractions we know that we're supposed to take the first fraction 48 over 1 and then multiply it, the division becomes multiplication and multiply it but the reciprocal of the second fraction, the reciprocal of the second fraction 4 over 10 is going to become 10 over 4 you with me? very good we learned that thing in this video here, 54, 55, 56, day 8 and 9, so we're not, I'm not going to repeat it as the reason behind it. You can watch the videos and learn the reason. Now, all we have to do is reduce the, reduce the quantity. We see 4 on the top, we see 48 on the top, 48 is divisible by 8, you can, uh, the 48 is divisible by 4, you can clearly see it, because 4 is divisible by 4 and 8 is divisible by 4. Let's try top and bottom by 4. 4 is going to go away, 4 has 1 4 and 8 has 2 4. So it's just 12 times 10. 12 times 10 is just 120. That's our answer. 120 is our answer. Let's do the next one. 144. 144 divided by 0.6. Same exact concept. Same exact concept, same exact notion, same exact idea, same exact rationale. Same exact method. Nothing changes here. Do you understand? You just follow the same pattern. So 0.6 can be written. So we have 144 here. Let's put down 144. Then we have division sign here. And 0.6 can be written as 6 over 10. So far, so good. Let's, let's convert this thing to, uh, into fractions. So it's easy to talk about them, easy to deal with. Even though it's not necessary, we could have left 144 as 144. But this is more of a baby version, makes it easy to see everything. And then division is gonna division is gonna become multiplication. And as soon as you convert the division into multiplication sign, you must remember that we have to take the reciprocal of the second fraction. 6 over 10 is gonna become 10 over 6. Let's divide top and bottom by. Is this quantity divisible by 3? 1, 1, 4, 4. Is that quantity divisible by 3? The answer is yes. 144 is evenly divisible by 3. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you two more two more videos to watch if, if you're interested. Let's make a note here. Divisibility rules. Divisibility rules. Basic math. The 25 and 27. Like I said, there are 200 videos, but you don't have to go through all 200 of them. Go through the first 100 
and in the first 100, pick and choose the topics that you, that you, that you like, pick and choose the topics that you, that you feel that pertains, pertain to the exam that you're about to take, uh, pick and choose the topic that you feel that you're weak in. There are plenty of, plenty of information, there are plenty of videos there. On day number 25 and 27, we learn the rules of divisibility. And the rules of divisibility tell us that as long as the sum of the digits, as long as the sum of the digits of a given number is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. The sum of the digits of 144 is 9. And since we know 9 is divisible by 3, therefore 144 is divisible by 3. Do you understand? Now, if you like, we can make it even more interesting. Another thing we notice is that 144 is an even number. If it's an even number, it's divisible by 2. If a number is divisible by 2, and if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. So if the number is divisible by 2 and 3, it must also be divisible by 6. 144 is divisible by 6. But if you don't like that much, if you don't like that, if you feel that this is getting too complicated, if you want to do it in two steps, that's well, fine. You can divide by 2 first, and then divide by 3 later, if you like. We can do that too. Let's do it both methods. Let's first, let's, let's, let's first divide by 6 first, and then we'll do one step at a time. Divide top and bottom by 6. How many 6 does 1 have? 1 has no 6's. 1 has no 6's. That one goes and joins the 4 and becomes 14. How many 6's does 14 have? 14 has 2 6's. 2 6's are 12. 6 2's are 12. So we cross out 14 we put down 2 on top of it. We have used up 12 out of 14. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 4 and becomes 24. Remaining 2 goes and joins the 4 and becomes 24 and 24 has 4 6's and 6 is gone. That's what we're done. The answer is 24 times 10 over 240. Now if you didn't like this method, if you want to do it two steps, that's fine too. Let's do it in two steps. 144 times 1, or rather over 1, times 10 over 6. Let's divide top and bottom by 2 first if you like. If, if you want to do as I said, if you want to do the baby version, we can do that. You can clearly see that 144 is divisible by 2. It's an even number. How many 2's does 1 have? 1 has no 2. That 1 goes and joins the 4 and becomes 17, uh, becomes 14. 14 has 7 2's. 4 has 2 2's. Since we divided the top, since we divided the top by 2, we must divide the bottom by 2. If we divide 6 by 2, it becomes 3. Now let's divide top and bottom by 3. Is 72 divisible by 3? The answer is yes, 72 is indeed divisible by 3 because 72, the sum of the digits of 72 is simply 7 plus 2. 7 plus 2 is 9, and 9 of course is divisible by 3. But as you can clearly see, you don't have to do it in two steps. We, we, we could have done it in one step, as a matter of fact, we did do it in one step. If you're able to see that if the number is an even number, if a given quantity is an even number, and if the sum of the number is divisible by 3, then what you're telling me is that the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. Well, if it's divisible by both 2 and 3, why not just do it in one shot? Just divide it by 6. Why do it in two steps? Anyway, let's carry on. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. How many 3's does 7 have? 7 has 2 3's. 7 has 2 3's. The remaining one goes and joins the 2 and becomes 12. And 12 has 4 3's. 12 has 4 3's. Now the 3 is gone. Again, we end up with 24 times 10, just like before. 24 times 10. Nothing new. Nothing different. But these things require practice. This thing require getting used to. Do you understand? This division that we did here, they are also there in basic math. 1 through 100, one, one through 100. Uh, and, and they are labeled as division, they are, they are labeled, uh, labeled as division quizzes, division quizzes. Let's go on to number 3. Division quizzes, there are 5 quizzes and if you go through those 5 quizzes you will learn how to divide in a hurry. Instead of doing the long division, you will learn how to divide like we have been dividing here on the front of the problem. Here we go. These are the days you want to watch. And again, in the series of basic math, in the series of basic math, division quizzes, uh, 16, 24, 77, 79, 79, and 92. They are all there, as I said. If you're interested, they are all there. If you wish to avail yourself to those videos, it will teach you how to divide instead of doing the long division, instead of doing the baby way. Let's do the next one. Number, problem number three. Problem number three, 3.75 3 
divided by 4. Point divided by point 0.4. Again, exact same logic will apply, exact same rationale will apply, exact same method, exact same technique. Nothing different. Nothing changes. Nothing ever changes. 3 points. 3.75 can be written as 375 over 100 divided by 0.4 can be written as 4 over 10. As you can see, same exact thing. If you divide 375 by 100, you're going to have to move the decimal place two spots from here. The decimal is right here right now. If you divide by 100, you move it two spots. One, two, it ends up at 3.75. You see? I shouldn't have done it now because I ruined it. 375 over 100. Now we're going to convert this division sign into a multiplication sign and as, long as, as soon as we divide, convert the division sign into a multiplication sign we're going to have to remember to flip this uh, second fraction to take the reciprocal of it. 4 over 10 is going to become 10 over 4 and you must remember that. So 375 over 100 times 10 over 4. 10 over 4. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. If you divide top and bottom by 10, the 10 is going to go away and the 100 is going to lose one of its zero. 100 is going to lose one of its zero. Let's continue. This we see a 10 here with 375. 375 is a multiple of 5 because it ends in a 5 or a 0. If a number ends in a 5 or a 0, it's a multiple of 5. It's divisible by 5. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. And you will see what I mean by how to divide 375 in a hurry. Those quizzes will teach you that. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. How many, how many, not, not 10 rather, let's divide top and bottom by 5. How many 5 does 3 have? 3 has no 5. 3 has no 5. That 3 goes and joins the 7 and becomes 37. How many 5 does 37 have? 37 has 7 5. 7 5 is at 35. 7 5 is at 35. Cross out 37, put down 7. 7 fives are 35. You must know your timetables as I've been telling you. Today is lesson number 15 as I've been telling you throughout the entire journey. From day number 1 I've been telling you to memorize, to know your timetables by heart. 1 through 12. And again you need help with those. Watch the first 12 videos in basic math. Day 1 through 12 we learn our timetables. So 7 fives are 35. We have used the 35 from the 37. That leaves us with the remainder of 2. That 2 goes and joins the 5 and becomes 25. And 25 has 5 fives. Since we divided the since we divided the top by 5, we must divide the bottom by 5. If we divide 10 by 5, it becomes 2. And that's about it. That's all we can do. 75 is not divisible by 2 over 4. So we end up with 75 on the top over 2 times 4. Over 2 times 4, which is simply 8. Which is simply 8. Are you with me? Let's divide top and bottom by 8. You have to know your timetables. There is no other substitute. 8 9s are 72. 8 9s are 72, or if you like, 9 8s are 72. 9 8s are 72. I need the room, so I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it up here. This is this is what we, this is how we speak. 9 9 8s are 72. How do I know? How do we know that 9 8s make 72? Well, because we know that 10 8s are 80. If you have 10 8s, 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, if you add 8 10 times, you will have 80. If 10 8s are 80, then it stands to reason that 9 of them must make 72 because you take away 8 from 80. 80 minus 8 is 72. 9 8s are 80. So divide top and bottom by 8. 72 has 9 8s. Uh, 75 has 9 8s. After we take away 72 from 75, we are left with the remainder of 3. We are left with the remainder of 3. That 3 must be divided by 8. The answer is 9 and 3 8. The answer is 9 and 3 8. Let's continue up here. We need the room. What are we going to do with 9 and 3 8? 9 and 3 8. Again, these are things that you have to know as I keep repeating over and over again. We have, you, have to, you have to watch the things and learn. There is a video, there is a video which is clearly labeled as Tenths and quarters. Quarters and the tenths. You must know your quarters and eighths rather. You must know your tenths and the fifths. You must know your eighths and the quarters. You must know your thirds. It makes life easier. It allows you to do calculation in a hurry. Eighths. Three eighths is what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out what three eighths is in decimal. Let's find out, shall we? Three eighths. Three eighths. You have to understand is simply made up of is simply made up of two eighths and an eighth. 
2 8 and an 8 will make 3 8s. But 2 8 is very easy, 2 8 is simply 1 quarter. 2 over 8 is just 1 over 4, which is also very easy, which is just 0 0.25. 0 0.25, isn't it? So if you understand that part, if you understand, if you understand that 2 8, 2 8 is equal to 0 0.25, well then 1 8 must be half of that. That implies, this implies that 1 8 would have to be half, would have to be 1 8 would have to be half, half of 2 8. If you take half of 2 8, it's 1 8. What is half of 0.25? What is half of 25? Half of 25 is 12 and a half. Half of 25, 25 divided by 2 is simply 12 and a half. In other words, 1 8, 1 8 is simply 0.25 divided by 2, which is 0.125. So we have 2 8, which is 0.25 plus of 1 8 which is 0.125 if you add them up together what we find is that it is 9 and 37.5 9 and 3.75 3 9 9 and 0 0.375 0 0.375 you have to know your eighths otherwise otherwise you're not going to get anywhere I was trying to do it in a hurry and as you can see it did not come out very well because uh, we cannot keep repeating the same thing over and over again is there. Learn your eighth. Learn your eighth and the quarter. I don't have the video right now. Actually I do. What do you know? Learn your learn your eighth and the quarters. Eighth. I don't know how to spell eighth. Eighth and the quarters. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter, and so forth. The the 31 and 32 in basic math. Same series under basic math, the 31 and 32, where you will learn your eighths and the quarter. Under the basic math, you will learn the divisibility rule, day number 25 and 26. Here are some practice problems for the division of decimals. It's all there. Here are some division quizzes. It's all there. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.